Hey, it's Meat Sandwich from the Boris and Robin Show. It is time to take a look at the box office this weekend with Meat at the Movies. So there's only one major movie hitting theaters this weekend, and it's the return of my favorite superhero to the big screen. The official third version of Spider-Man kicks off this weekend with the release of Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the first solo movie for new Spider-Man Tom Holland after making his first appearance last year in Captain America's Civil War. So what's kind of the big deal about this movie is that Spider-Man is now officially a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before, Sony was keeping Spider-Man separate, but this isn't a rehash of stuff we've seen before. Marvel is skipping the origin story because everyone already knows it and moving right on to the fun stuff. This one is about Spidey trying out to be an Avenger while also balancing that with his high school life. Robert Downey Jr. appears as Iron Man in a pretty significant supporting role as Peter Parker's mentor and I've heard this almost plays more like a classic John Hughes high school movie than a traditional superhero movie. It also has the return of Michael Keaton, the former Batman, to the superhero movie. This time it's the bad guy, the Vulture, and as usual Marvel seems to have hit the mark pretty well. Spider-Man Homecoming is getting great reviews. It has over a 90 on Rotten Tomatoes. Many people are calling Tom Holland the best actor to play Spider-Man. Marvel really hit their stride a few years ago, and they've been on a roll ever since. I doubt I'm going to like this as much as the first two Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire, which I think are two of the best superhero movies ever made, but I am excited. It should be a really fun time. I'm Meat Sandwich, and until next time, we'll meet at the movies.